Hi guys, it's RXX2008 here, and this is going to be my first tutorial, and it's on changing the manifest.si file for incompatible mods. So I heard many comments on people who don't know how to change it and have trouble changing it, and I decided to make a tutorial for it. First, we're gonna grab the file that we need to change the manifest. So it's gonna be one of them is gonna be FSG and it's gonna be a more difficult one and I'm gonna start with it. Uh, and I uh, have to click on this in order for it to work properly. So now we have the FSG map downloaded gonna open it and um, so if you open it directly using your default uh, application it may not be all of the files so it's better to do this like go here and extract to so after that we you're gonna have the folder and with all the files. So this is a more, this is a better way in case you miss some files or data. Gonna move it to the ES folder, which is in Documents, uh, EDS2, and Mod. So you're gonna move it here. Yeah. And if we enter the game now. So you'll see in the mods manager. So it is now incompatible. So incompatible. So next thing we need, I uh, we we need a extractor. It can either be WinRAR. Uh, Sunzip or just the regular Windows CIP, and but for FSG you need this one, which is SCS Extractor. So now I'm gonna download a new one just to show you. So search SCS Extractor here, and in for SCS modding wiki. So this one. So. Be sure to download the 1.55 plus. And there we got it downloaded, extract it, and drag it to the desktop. Yeah, just like this. And the next thing we want to do is to uh, create a new folder. So just call it test. So be sure that. It can only contain Latin letters, like English letters. There cannot be any Russian uh, credit characters or Chinese or Korean or sort of things. Gonna uh, either move or copy the files here. Because then you're gonna drag this, like drag it onto the program until it says open this, this thing.exe. And then it's gonna extract it. It may take a long time, and you need to put in a new folder because it's gonna generate this a lot of new files in the directory that you're dragging from. So be sure that you are taking it from a new folder. So uh, actually, just take it one at a time. After the command window goes out, like uh, goes away. We're gonna find the manifest.sii, just this one. Open it, and you will see this line. So compatible versions. We're gonna delete, either delete this, or change the number to your current version, or just slash it out. So I'm gonna just delete it. And save control plus s save. Now just check if 
it has saved so yeah it's saved now the you like you need to do this part and this is a pretty important part like first you delete the original file here or just move away just move it away then you select all of this or just control a then right click on it show more options you also go to some zip and uh, add to the IP or you can use when you are and um, add to archive I'll just choose some zip because it's easier because just uh, you don't need to do anything else just press on the button So after that, uh, I'm gonna get the archive here, and if you want, like, it's better to rename to FSG and it is assets. So here we go. Or if you want, you can rename the thing to SCS. Um, dot SCS. So here we go. Yes. So we're gonna move it back to the mods folder, which is in here. So now we're gonna delete all of this and gonna continue on like do the same to the rest of the other three files to so do the exact same thing. And retain time. So now if you try to open this one by 7-zip, it's not gonna work because you see it cannot open because it is packed by SES Packer so it can only extract by SES Extractor. So just do it all. So now we got all our four FSG files uh, change manifest change compatibility versions we're gonna go back to the game to see so you see here this is now compatible now and it is quite important to see if the description works fine the icon works fine the name and the author works fine and the category works fine because you need to make sure there aren't any information lost so this is it for fsg for scs extractor now uh, there are a other kind of mod that doesn't use scs extractor and that is a easier way and now i'm gonna show that So, you're gonna use Ukraine expansion as a example for this one. So let's get the Ukraine expansion file. Here it is. And make sure to right click, open a new tab. So, done. Done. So now we've got it downloaded. Now this is very easy, you see. Just open it like open this 7-zip. Like I can re I recommend using 7-zip because I think it is easier to use and has more options in editing. Like you can also use WinRAR, but do not use the default Windows CI because um it's gonna mess up when you save the manifest.si so either use t 7 zip or when you are so now the same same you delete it but instead of extracting and saving this time you just save it directly close it and it's gonna get a pop-up just type yes 
it's Trucius and it's gonna reload the archive. So you don't need to extract it, you just need to open it using either 7-zip or Windrar. So now check it and then it's now compatible now. So it's the same thing, but much easier. Now this is the end of my first tutorial. Thank you for watching.